All right, so I want you to look at the following verse and tell me what is common to them. This, 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 and this. Now look at it critically and tell me what is common to this verse. Mm -hmm. Super, they all end in ER. Okay, so this group of verbs are known as first group verbs in French or le verbe de premier group. They are also called ER verbs because they end in ER. So that is what we are focused today. Regular ER verbs and how to conjugate them in French. Stick around. Then you should know that most verbs in French actually end in ER. So it's important for you to learn this once and for all. I'm going to be super easy super direct and super fast with you. Examples of some ER verbs are jouer, jouer means to play, chanter, chanter means to sing, parler, parler means to talk or to speak. Alright, I should mention that only one verb actually ends in ER but isn't considered as an ER verb and the verb is the verb aller, okay, aller which means to go. Okay, so now how do you conjugate regular ER verbs in French? Just follow these easy steps. So the first thing you need to do is to write out your personal pronouns and they are je, tu, il ou elle ou en, nous, vous, il, elle. Write them out. The second thing you need to do is to remove the er at the end of the verb. So just remove this er at the end of the verb and write out the remaining. So you write out the remaining called the roots. Okay, just add it to the verb. Right, have you done that? First thing, don't forget, you write out the personal pronoun. The second thing, you remove the er at the end of the verb and write out the remaining. Okay, bravo. All right, the next thing to do is to add their respective endings. Okay, so this you just need to learn by heart. Okay, you need to memorize these endings. All right, for je, you add e for tu you add es for il ou elle ou en the third person singular you add e for nous you add o n s for vous you add iz for il ou elle you add e n t it's as simple as that and now you can make correct sentences in French. So look at this example for instance. Je parle. Je parle means I speak. So if I wanted to say I speak English, je parle anglais. Okay. Tu parles. Tu parles français. Do you speak French? Tu parles. Can you repeat that? Tu parles. Super. Il parle. Meaning he speaks or he's speaking. Elle parle, she speaks or she's speaking. Nous parlons, nous parlons, we speak. Ici, nous parlons français. Here, we speak French, okay? Vous parlez, you speak. Vous parlez, il parle, elle parle. C'est compris? Do you understand that? All right, if you did, let's conjugate this verb in present tense together. Chanter. Chanter means to sing. Okay, so what is the first thing you need to do? Super. Write out your personal pronouns. Okay, je, tu, and the rest. The second thing you need to do is to do what? You have to remove the er in the infinitive form of the verb. Okay, the er in the infinitive form of the verb and write the root to the personal pronouns super and what's the final step add their respective endings okay so for the first person singular je you add e for two you add e s for il l ou on you add e for nous you add o n s for vous you simply add e z and for they e ou l you simply add e n t I say all you need to do is to memorize e this the respective endings. Okay, now we have je chante, which means I sing or I'm singing. Je chante à la maison. I sing at home. Je chante toujours à l'église. I always sing in church. Je chante avec mes amis. 
I sing with my friends. Okay? Tu chantes, je sing. Il ou elle chante, he or she sings. Nous chantons, we sing. Vous chantez, you sing. Il chante. Okay, so this chant has the same pronunciation as the first person singular. Okay? Chant. You don't say chantant, no. Say chant, il chante, elle chante. C'est compris? Now let's look at some special conjugation of certain ER verbs. Yes, ER verbs have the same formats of conjugation. However, there are some special changes you need to make in some ER verbs. Alright, so the first group of special ER verbs that you need to pay attention to are verbs that start with a vowel or a mute H. Okay? Alright, like for example, habiter, arriver, adorer. Alright, so for this group of verbs, look at what you need to do. Alright, so the only change you need to make, just like I said, first step, write out your personal pronouns. Second step, remove the ER at the end. The third step, write the remaining. Now, this is what you need to just do. What you need to do is to remove the E, the E light, the E for je, and replace it with an apostrophe before writing the roots. So, what you need to do before writing the root for the first person singular je is to E light the E. E light means to cancel or to remove and replace it with an apostrophe before writing this. Why is this? Alright, so this takes place because in French, when two vowels from two different words meet, the first vowel will be lighted, meaning the first vowel will be replaced with an apostrophe. That is it. Alright, so the second group of verbs that needs a slight change are verbs that end in GER. Par exemple, manger, changer, manger means to eat, Changer means to change. All you need to do is to follow the same pattern, okay? Write out your personal pronouns, remove the ER, at the roots. Now, just add your endings, respective endings for je, you have E, for tu, you have ES. When you get to nu, instead of writing ONS, the only thing you need to add is to add E before ONS for verbs that end in GER. That is the only change. And why is this? It's to have a smooth pronunciation. That's why I would say, nous mangeons, nous mangeons du riz, nous mangeons. That means we eat, okay? Or nous changeons, we're changing. All right, so for verbs that end in GER, that is the only thing you need to pay attention to. Just add E in the new form before adding ONS. And for verbs that end in CER, for example, avancer, to advance or to progress, or commencer, to begin, to commence or to start, you follow the same pattern. However, when you get to the new form, you only add a cedilla. This accent mark is called cedilla. You add the cedilla to the C. All right, this is just to have a smooth pronunciation. And that's why we're saying, nous commençons, commençons. So the cedilla softens the k sound. Nous commençons, nous avançons, we're progressing. Okay? And for verbs that end in Y-E-R, for example, payer, what you just need to do is to change the Y to I in all the forms, except for nous and vous. So let's look at this example, payer. Okay? After following the rules, personal pronouns, remove ER. Now what you just need to do, so instead of writing P-A-Y, just change the Y to I. So we have P, P, and when you get to nous and vous form, the Y is retained, then you can add your respective endings. Did you see that? All right, so these are just things you just need to know. They are not complex, but they are just special cases that you should know about. So the next group of verbs that have A in the infinitive form okay the e with the acute accent e avec l'accent aigu so what you just need to do the e with the acute accent changes to the e with the grave accent okay in all cases except for nu and vu okay so um this is the acute accent called accent aigu and this is l'accent grave 
Okay, so when you see this accent, accent aigu on E, it gives E the A sound. For example, compléter, to complete, protéger, to protect, célébrer, to celebrate or to party. So what you just need to do, like I said, is to change the acute accent to the creative accent. All right, so let's look at this example, compléter. First thing you do, like I said, pressing a pronounce, Next thing, remove the ER. And the next thing, write your roots. So while writing your roots, don't forget you need to change the accurate ascent to the grave ascent, except for no one view. Okay, so we have je complète, to complète. You see the change in pronunciation. The infinitive form of the verb is complété, complété, the A sound. Why, when conjugating, we change the accent to the grave accent, giving the E the E sound. That's why we say, je complète, to complète, il ou elle complète, nous complétons. So it retains its form in the nous and vous form. Nous complétons, vous complétez, il complète, elle complète. C'est compris? Bravo. And there are some verbs with E in the infinitive where all you just need to do is to double the last consonant. Okay, there are some verbs like jete, jete means to throw or appeler. So what you need to do is after remove the er, you just double the last consonant for all forms except nu and vu. And there are some verbs which contain e in the next to the last syllable of the infinitive. All you need to do is to change the e to this. That's all you need to do, except for the nu and vu form. You only change this to this. So all you just need to put is the grave accent on E. Okay, examples of these verbs are lever, mener, emmener, promener, élever, poser, and so on and so forth. Et voila, I believe now you can conjugate ER verbs. It takes a lot of practice. So let's practice these verbs together. Can you try and conjugate these verbs? This, 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 and this. And drop in the comment section. I'll be waiting to hear from you. Merci beaucoup d'avoir suivi et à très bientôt.